Well, welcome back. I'm on my human druid, self-found solo permadeath character. Last episode, we reached level nine. We purchased some of our spells, but we didn't have enough to buy them all. So right now, I'm going to go into Surefall Glade, sell my items. Take a quick inventory of how much money we have and if we have enough I'll purchase another one of our level 9 spells. We need Ignite, we need Starshine, and I can't think of anything else but I know we need others. So right now we have, looks like about five platinum and we might have enough to buy one now so we'll see if we can buy one of our spells I might not have enough at the moment so here's ignite we don't have enough starshine also we don't have enough we bought Thistle Coat and Strength of Earth we still need. So I'm going to go back outside of town and I'll see you when I get there. So we're outside of Surefall Glade. And we need to go into Blackborough, work on increasing our gold so we have enough for our spells. And I think I'll fight these two gnolls out front. So let me speed up progress a little bit. Okay, and here we are. So these con green to us, and it looks like one of them will give us experience. So let's go ahead and attack that one first. I'll flame lick this one. Oh. I don't know if he was up there waiting. Pizza of the Hut, let's check him out. He's a level 5 druid. He might have been waiting to fight one of these. If he was, I didn't mean to take both of them. Let's see. Yeah, I think he was, so... Maybe I can give him a little buff. I don't think it'll help much. Anyways, let me go apologize to him if he was camping these. Looks like a dread skeleton wandering around up there. I have to go investigate that. See that skeleton? Yeah, so we have this little code active. It's it's doing one barb damage every time I get hit. And it gives me a little bit of an AC boost. Okay, let's see. Pizza the Hut. Let me go say sorry to this guy. I'll be back in just a second. So Pizza the Hut says he's watched my videos. He likes my channel. That's cool. I'm getting recognized by people. <laughs> Pizza the Hut is a level 5 druid. And I saw him yesterday. That's really cool. Let's see if I can get through here without triggering that null. Yeah. So we need to fight things that are a little tougher. The gnolls inside here might do. Okay, he did attack me. So this will give me a little experience, but most of our experience is coming from turning in those noble fangs. So 
So I'm starting to incorporate using snare. As you level up, the length of time that snare lasts increases. So it's not worthwhile using probably below level five. But every level after five, it starts to become somewhat useful and just improves at every level. At a maximum, it will last four full minutes. And C, it kind of works like a root when their health is low. Their movements are reduced enough to where they don't even move. And that's nice. And you see it still hasn't worn off. There it wore off. And as it wears off, they can move again. Really useful spell. And the reason I like it is because it's mana efficient as opposed to root costs a lot of mana. So I'm going to zone in. Okay, let's do a quick survey and see we have five players in here. One player below us and two that are level 11 and then there's one high level player in here. There's Kuda, Kabuda. I uh, didn't have time to wave. Kabuda is a level eight druid, so that's cool. So there might not be much to fight in here right now. With those two level 11 players, um, they can handle most of the stuff in here. So I imagine down here, there won't be much to fight. Let's just take a look since I'm already here. There's Kabuda. I think a Kabuda is the name of a lawn mowing company, or they make tractor supply, tractor machines. K Kabuda. I remember seeing a lot of commercials for Kabuda when I was in Tennessee. So, anyways, I'm going to go check the hall. <coughs> <coughs> He's asking what weapon I'm using. And I told him we're using the crack staff. says well, we're gonna zone in and I'm gonna run over to Karana's it's Saturday 5 p.m. so it's not a surprise that there's people in Blackboro right now ah well I can drop Wraithbone hammer on the ground if you want if you <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta read that in one second. If you want to find it, find if you want. He's saying he can drop it on the ground that I could I could find it. I said thanks, it's quite nice. And he said good luck. It gives you five strength, two wisdom, two intelligence. It's got eight damage and twenty-six delay. Very good weapon. That would change everything, but it might make it a little too easy for us. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you when I get over to the Karanas. I'm just going to follow this route here at that guard shack. I'll turn left, and then we'll go to the zone line to West Karana. See you in a second. So I just zoned into Karanas. It's 1 p.m. game time, which means I only have about 30 minutes left of daylight to play. That's just a guess. 
This is going to be a dangerous zone because there's a wandering werewolf and a ghoul messenger that would destroy us. Because of that, I'm not going to venture too far. I think I can kill a few bears, beetles, I don't know. We'll have to find something um, to fight. I'll make it over to the farms and check it out. Uh, I don't know what I can handle as far as bandits go at level 9. I believe I can handle you know, the farmers. And if I can get a headband, those give bronze reward. I can get a bronze weapon. So I'm going to keep following the road a little bit of ways down here. And then the spawns, you'll start seeing spawns. Right here, there's like nothing here to spawn. So to save time, I will speed things up a little bit. Okay, right away I see a brown bear and I see a beetle down this way. So I'm going to run right towards that beetle. Okay, right up to the beetle. Look at the mountains just appearing. So when I first played this game, what I, what amazed me was the scale, the vertical scale of the game. Especially when you get the Aviac um, treehouse. It's so big. So to do this, I'm going to, if we have plenty of mana, I'm going to snare him, dot him, Okay, now let's snare. Now let's blast him. Let's try to do it one more time. Heck, one more. And then we'll start meleeing him. So this con's blue to us. It says risky, but might win. Experience is very low. We just got this level. Giant fire beetle leg. We can sell these things at these huts. So let me look around for more things to fight. Okay, I see this young lion over here. I don't want to spend too much mana doing that trick I just did with the snare in the the direct damage spells. Since it only cons blue to us, let's just fight it here, like this. Now we have to keep our eyes open for that ghoul messenger and for that werewolf. I think the werewolf only comes in the evenings in late mornings through the night. The ghoul messenger can come through at any time and he wanders very like in a very like wide like distance. I don't know how to describe it. Probably should have just snared him. Okay, so we need to get every bit of money we can get, so let's loot everything. What else can we fight? Let's check the price of the beetle leg, the giant beetle leg. And that sells for one gold. That's good. Low quality cat pelt, not bad. Quick survey. We could probably use more muffins. Let's check how many we have. We have 10 muffins, let's buy 10 more of those. And do they sell milk? No, no milk. So we need to look out for milk soon. Ooh, a turtle shell helm. I think we need that. So we need to earn 15 platinum for this thing. They give us three strength and five AC. That would have been great for the warrior. Okay, so you guys saw it. I'm going to try to buy it. So I'm just going to look on vendors real fast. 
Okay, I see this grizzly bear that cons even to us. I assume that the guards will protect you if you're running from a grizzly bear. So I'm going to attempt to kill one of these grizzlies. Mist wolf green. Other mist wolf green. So one of these bears. There's one over there that cons yellow to us. So, And there's also a bandit. Let's see the bandit yellow. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I did last time. We're going to, I'm going to do a flame lick. Okay. Hopefully we get the snare off real fast. Okay. He's been snared. We're going to blast him a couple times. Okay. There's one. Two. Let's get one more off. Damn, it's interrupted. Let's snare him again. Okay, so we got snare off one more time. I'm gonna blast him and reapply flame lick, and then we'll start meleeing him. I resisted. Okay. He resisted again. Damn. Okay, so what should I do? Snare him. I think I should snare him and run. Stunned. Okay, we snared him. Let's just get out of here. I wonder if the guards will protect me. Okay, let's turn that off. He seems to be a little bit too strong for us. Hmm. My hope is that these guys will attack him. One heal. We target them to apply snare in case they don't. Okay, they did. Good. All right, they didn't work out too well. <laughs> I normally would stay and fight, but nah, it's a little too risky. So I'm going to have to met up here. I'll see you when I have a little bit more mana and health. Okay, I see a young lion that comes blue to us. I'm looking out for that ghoul messenger and werewolf. Don't see him. And also, sometimes some bandits wander this way, so you have to be careful. This is one of those zones where you get killed because something around you is happening and you don't see it. for one more thing to fight and we're gonna gate out of here well look that'll work let's get this lion okay we're close to the guard tower we're close to the vendors and we are close to the road So there's the farms with the bandits. You can see the moon starting to set right behind it. Not set, it's rising. The moon's starting to rise. OK, 
Okay. So we should have enough for at least one more spell. I have 10 fangs. So I could also start working on turning those fangs in. Then we can recheck Black Bro to see if there's available hunting in there. It honestly might be better just to hunt around Black Bro. Even if we don't get any experience from killing gnolls, we can get fangs. So that's what we're going to do. Let's just gate out of this place real quick. And I'll see you when I get to Surefall Glade. Okay, we just zoned in. And I'm going to go uh, zone into Surefall. And so we can buy one of our spells. Okay, here we are. I decided to, I'm going to buy Starshine. It's not the most useful one, but I'm tired of the dark. It's dark in the game. Let's check the game time. It is... 7 p.m. so I bought it what can I say so I'm gonna run out of town and we're gonna test out Starshine real quick okay back out of town I'm gonna to run over to Blackboro you know the way so to get to Blackboro I'll cast the Starshine right outside of the town right outside of the dungeon entrance and then we can see if I wasted my money or not See you in a second. Okay, we're outside the entrance. I'm just going to take care of some of these gnolls. We've already got 10 gnoll fangs. We don't need a whole lot more. Maybe 10 more gnoll fangs and we'll go back into Kinos and for sure we'll level up. So this should give us a tiny drop of experience, not much. Let's see what we get here. And again, I'm working on getting some more money. No no thing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mop up these knolls out front and I'll let you know when I'm done. See if we get any fangs. Okay, so I fought a few gnolls. Let me just go ahead and try this new spell I have. Starshine. Okay, I don't have the mana for it. Let me sit down for a second. Oops, I forgot to show you. I wasn't recording. So I casted this. Here's what it was with just the lantern. So you can see there's a bear ahead of me. Well, you can not really see him. And I put this in my offhand. Like the radius of the illumination just increases almost double. So we don't need the lantern anymore. So I'm going to run inside Black Bro now. We didn't get any fangs off of those gnolls. Okay, we're in Black Bro again. And it seems like the same players are there. The highest level player left. An 11 level, a level 11 player left and we're replaced by a level 5. So there might be a little bit here to fight. Let's just check it out. Someone's taking care of these. Oh, there's Kabuto. Leave that to him. I don't think a lot of people know about this snow up top. Okay, well, I didn't even see this snow. I don't want the impression that I'm stealing it from anybody. So let's fight it over here behind the TP. Now to keep them from running when they get low life, you can just cast Snare on them. I'll do that when he gets about half life. I want to see how much mana it takes anyways. Is cast it now. So it didn't. It didn't take too much mana for that. It is a level one spell. I'm also gonna cast flame lick. Speed this up a little. As you can see, 
His feet are too heavy. And now we're up to 12 fangs. All right. I don't think Kabuta knows about this one up top, or he might have taken it already. So we're going to clean this knoll up top here. Start out with a flame lick. And so these con green to us, it does give a little XP, but it's not much of a challenge. So I'll let you know when I find, um, well, as we kill this, I'll go downstairs and I'll show you. Okay, so everything's been killed except for this one over here. But there's this guy over here camping. Um, so if we want to fight anything, we might have to come this way. It's a little risky to come this way. But there might be some things to fight here. Let's see. It doesn't look like it, actually. Yep, someone's already been up this way. Let's continue on a little further. There's some snakes up here. Let's see. They left the snakes, so obviously they're all about getting these fangs. Well, there's a scrunny knoll here. Let's see what the snakes con to us. Blue and blue. So these can be kind of tough. Let's go ahead and take one on. The way down is cleared at the moment, so if we have to run, we won't pull anything behind us. We'll just keep reapplying Flame Lick, and then we can snare them when they start to run. But in the meantime, we have 12 Null Fangs. We could turn those in. It's not going to take us to level. Oh, come on, there's a train. Oh my god, what is going on here? No. Someone created that train, it wasn't me. Shit. I wonder who did that train. Cut these corners. Oh my god. We might make it. <laughs> we might make it. Keep running out of zigzag. Open that door, dude. I don't know who created that train. It wasn't me. Ugh. I thought I was done. You guys saw that. <laughs> oh, I don't have a train button, you know, a macro. Okay, so I'm going to stay here and rest. Actually, after that, I'm a little rattled. I'm a little rattled, so let's just turn in some Null Fangs over in Black Bro. Actually, before we do that, let's just kill these last two over here, or this one over here, and I'll get the mail delivery quest, and then we'll just deliver that to Kinos, turn in our fangs, and um, that should wrap things up. So let's just take care of this knoll here. Yeah, it's kind of difficult typing train while you're running down the through the passageways. Um, I should create a train macro. What am I doing? Why am I fighting this with such low life? I wasn't even thinking. All right, stay still, you. Let's give ourselves a heal. Come on, don't fizzle now. Almost a yellow bar. 
<laughs> kind of uh, tickled after that train. Of course, everyone thinks it was me except for the person who created it. No one gave me a warning at all. I have to look back at the footage and see what happened. I think someone else created the train. They might have pulled something from up top. Who knows? But there's nothing like a train on a permadeath character to get the juices flowing. That was a great escape. I didn't even curse about it because I usually you know, start cussing at the computer screen when something like that happens. It's very upsetting. So I'm just going to rest here and gate to Surefall. I know it's just right there, but. I'm going to do that because I want to go get a drink. See you in a second. Okay, I literally just two seconds, I pause the button and this dread skeleton starts attacking me. Ah, uh, shoot. I can't run. I'm just going to try to snare it. I'm dead. Um, I just sat at the top of the hill for like three seconds. I was just checking my phone and I heard the dread skeleton laugh and that's it. Character's gone. Uh, I'm not used to seeing Dread Skeletons up there, but that's it. This, so I got a suggestion from another player, from a guy watching the videos. He suggested just do a solo self-found, no permadeath, and I can do that next. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just died right up on that hill. A wandering Dread Skeleton. I'm not used to seeing those wandering around. So it was carelessness, but I just wanted to get a drink. Uh, that's the it. That's it. We got to level nine. Survived a train only to die to a dread skeleton that's wandering around in the newbie area. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, I'll consider another playthrough. Let me know what you guys want as far as class, races, and I'll consider all the options uh, suggestions. And then, um, yeah, I'm up for anything. Just let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching again. This is Cranky. This is the third playthrough. I got to level three the first time. I got to level six the second time. And this time we got to level nine. And that was it.